Hello everybody. Um, it's time for the last video of the night and it's 10 o'clock. This is awesome. <laughs> it might be an early night for me. Alright, so we did not have any, uh, we as in any of these ETFs in this workbook, <laughs> did not have any closed trades today. Um, so we won't go over the trades tab and we'll just go over the holdings tab um, and we'll identify those that had adding, that added shares to them or had um, any new ones. But before we begin, just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice and this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, I do not own, uh, I don't necessarily own any or all of the ETFs within, uh, within this, within the holdings or within this workbook or video that I will be going over. And let's get started. Um, if you don't, um, if you don't care so much about going over the actual holdings and the strikes, uh, the holdings and the trades and looking at the strike prices and all that, I did start uh, just a roundup daily video. Um, I do the, I did I'd been doing the weekly, started doing that, and then uh, so this week I just thought I would try a daily roundup that just goes over um, the ETF prices, stock prices, changes, uh, a sum of just the amount of the daily trades, uh, and some of those things. So, um, if you prefer that than this, you can watch that, or if you like to do watch both of them, um, because you do want to see the details, but you also want to see some of that other data that I don't show here, um, feel free uh, to watch both of them. Uh, but I get that I can get that one out earlier as long as I hide the portion on my tab that talks about that has the nav and stuff on it because I have lots of things on that tab that I've showed y'all before. I just have a lot of it hidden, uh, but I hide the part with the nav because I don't have the holdings to late at night, so it wouldn't be accurate when I do that early video because all I need are, are the trades. Uh, and the closed prices for the day in order to do that video. But I'm going to test it out this week. Y'all let me know if, if, you know, if you're watching it, if you want me to keep doing it or not, and then we'll go from there. Um, as you can see, I've changed this workbook around a little bit again. <laughs> I've moved now the uh, new uh, and existing, you know, or new quantity and price data to the left here versus the right, just like... Um, I did over here. I had moved everything to the left, so I wasn't scrolling all the way to right to see. I could see it up front with the lines without having to look at my computer or my phone and then try to look at this at the exact same time. So anyway, we'll start going through this. So we have AIYY that closed at 15.05 and AI closed at 28.29. As you see, we had some trades for AIYY today. They added um, 235 contracts to the synthetic position and to the short call. So those were added to the short call with a strike price of $30. And um, let's see, so both short calls, they'll expire Friday. You see we have $29.50 and $30. And we are below the uh, strike prices for those 4 and 6%. Um, and just to point out the synthetic position, uh, strike price is $35. And we are below those by 19%. So just a reminder for the synthetic position, we want to be above the strike price. In our short calls, we normally want to be, well, we want to be below them. Of course, in this case... You know, you look at it and it's like, well, that doesn't make sense because our short calls are below the synthetic. And that's just because the price has been continually going down. Um, but if you look over here to the right, you can see the market value to close this out. If you add both synthetic lines together, that would be $5 million to close those out. Of course, today is March 19th, so we have a one month to go. And... 
then we will move on. I will say that, um, I realize now when I hide this, you can't see which line or what's tra uh, treasury and what's cash. I normally don't, well, I normally don't look at treasury, cash, and money market, and I don't even include it in any calculations, and I don't track it, and I know retire on dividends has stated before that he thought about not tracking them anymore because they didn't make a lot of difference. Um, I think he still does it, though, so I don't know if he changed his mind or if it's just one of those things where we always did it, so we will, but um, I mean, I have all of the data here, but I don't do anything with it, right? It's on the holdings every day, but I'm just really looking at uh, our options, um, right? Our synthetic positions and our short calls, or long and our shorts. But uh, I know yesterday, and I didn't think about this before, but yesterday we had a uh, like the negative and positive on most of our cash and. Um, money market stuff and I didn't think to look at that before this call but I'm looking at it now on my computer oh well I made it down to Disney anyway um and it looked like we didn't have negatives anymore um, there could be more as we go down, but now I am seeing that we have some issues here uh, with the trades and my spreadsheet. So I guess I'll address them as we go because, um, let's see, I already overwrote the formulas. So we'll continue here, and then on the ones I didn't overwrite the formulas on, um, let me just make sure. Yeah, we'll look at them. Okay. We'll look at these and then we'll go back to these other ones and, and we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to hide that back. I usually don't have issues on these, so I didn't think to check. Um... And so we're going to go on down to AMDY. AMDY, we closed at $20.49. AMD closed at $181.42. You can see that we have uh, no trades for the day. And then we have our, we have three short calls that will expire Friday. So we have a 200 strike price, a 202.50, and a 207.50. We are below those strike prices by 9, 10, and 13%. So those look good, but you look at our synthetic position, which is $200, and we are 9% below that, so that doesn't look too great. Excuse me. So if we go over here, you can see that the market value, I forgot that I had, sorry, I forgot that I had broken this down over here on the right, because uh, this was, I just did this weekend, I think, um, but... If we wanted to close out that synthetic position, it would cost uh, $9 million uh, today. Of course, it doesn't expire for two months. So, hopefully, it will come back up. So, let's move on down to AMZ. AMZ closed at $22.79. Amazon closed at $175.90. And there were trades here today. We can see that they... Uh, added 115 contracts to the synthetic position and to the short call with the strike price of 177.50. So we have two short calls that will expire Friday, the 177.50 and the 180, and we are one and two percent below those strikes. And then you can see for the synthetic, we're above those, so we're green there. I will go to the right, or left, <laughs> and then we're going to go down to the next one. So we have Apple. Apple closed at 1723. Apple closed at 17608. We had no trades for these. We have two short calls that expire Friday with the strike prices of 17250 and 175. We are currently. One and two percent below those, uh, and then we are green on our synthetics, so th those look okay. And you can see over here, 
uh, the short column and the synthetic value. Yeah, because we were below our synthetic, uh, short call, sorry. All right, so we move on down to Coney. Coney closed at 25.31, even though I did see it in the 24s it's this morning. Um, coin ended up closing at 2.30.12, and we have no trades here for the day. We have one short call that expires Friday with expiration, I mean, with a strike price of 257.50, and we're 11% below that. But then we have our synthetic position that expires in one month, and uh, we're 8% below that. So if we look over here on the left, uh, if we were to close out that synthetic position today, it would cost us $28.6 million. We'll move on to Dizzo. Dizzo closed at 2186. Disney closed at 11451. And we had no trades today. We have one short call that expires Friday with a uh, strike price of 115. So we're a few cents below that. And our synthetic, we are above that. So we're looking good. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to look to see the exact cents. So we are 49 cents below our short call. If we move on down to FBY, Phoebe, our price close price was $22.92. Meta closed at $4.96.24. We do not have uh, any trades there to go over. We have two short calls expiring Friday with strike prices of 500 and 515. So we're one and four percent below those. So not too bad there. And then we have our synthetic positions. Um, we have two different ones with strike price, strike prices of 505 and 515. So we are below both of those. Of course, we have two months left. Uh, but it looks like it would cost us roughly $4.89 to close that one out if we had to do it today. If we go on to GUI, GUI closed at $17.10. Alphabet closed at $147.03. No trades to go over here. We have the uh, sh two short calls, the strike price, or two short calls that expire Friday with strike prices of $143 and $144. So we are currently over those strike prices. Let's say, ooh, yep. So we're over those by two and three percent, um, but we're we're looking good on the synthetic. Um, so we have a few days. We'll see with the FMOC meeting tomorrow what happens. Uh, but you can see there that our short call would cost us eight hundred sixty-six thousand to close out today if we had to. JPMO closed at 21.51. JPM closed at 193.79. No trades for today. Our short call strike price is 192.50. So we're over that by a dollar and twenty-nine cents or one percent. And then um, yeah, our synthetic looks good. Meaning it's in the green. So I don't, in case you don't normally watch this, I usually don't go over the synthetic unless it is red. Unless I just forget or it's a huge significant number that we're over it. Um, and then we have Marnie. We closed at $20.32. Moderna closed at one o five eleven. We have no trades to go over. They have two short calls expiring Friday with strike prices of 106 and 115 and we are 1 and 9% below those, below those. And then our synthetic expires at 2 months, but we're currently 4% under those with a strike price of 110. MSFO closed at 2260, Microsoft closed at 42141. And so we have trades on this one. We added, they added to the synthetic 30 contracts. And then they added 10 contracts to the strike short call, strike price of 425. And then they created a new one with a strike price of 430. So if we go over, it means we now have a total of four short calls, all expiring Friday. 
4250, 425, 430, and 435, 0 to 3 percent below the strike price currently. Yeah. 421.41. So we're just like a dollar away from a dollar nine nine cents away from our first strike call there. And then this is one of the ones that have. So let me go. I'm gonna go on the computer here so I don't have to scroll around a bunch over here. Yeah, it's weird because hmm. Yeah, when I go to my regular holdings tab, there's no issues. Um, so I'll just have to recopy and post that over, but I'll just go to the, the raw data tab here. And we're going to, sorry, I'm going to have to scroll. MSTY. Yeah, see, I don't have any div issues here. And I'm looking, and it's only on, well, it's on quite a bit of them after that. I don't understand why. So, yeah, I'll just stay on this holding. Well, yeah, I'll stay over here. I'll just look to make sure. Now i got to look at my trading tab. So we did that, that, that. Yeah, so the only next one, the only other one that actually had trades on it um, is Zomo. So... When we get there, I'll address those because they're not going to be updated in columns B through D here. Um, so, with that said, since it's not going to be, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and close that. Sorry about that. I didn't see that those at the bottom had some issues for my copy and paste. Um, But I do believe we were here at Misty, right? Because our one before it was Microsoft, yes. So Misty, Misty closed at thirty-five fifty. Micro Strategy closed at one thousand four hundred and seventeen fifty. Um, I know I've covered it now in a couple of videos today, but I know Micro Strategy was down to like at least thirteen hundred and two dollars at one at the one point this morning, uh, and Misty was down to. I think 32 but uh but anyway if we move on over to our holdings I guess I zoomed in too much we have lots of colors going on on this one so we have two short calls that will expire Friday strike prices of 1785 and 1850 we're currently 21 and 23% below these. <clears throat> but then we have two synthetic positions, one with a strike price of $950 and expires in less than two weeks. Is that less? Yes, less than two weeks. Um, and then we have one that expires next month with the strike price of $1,700. Uh, which we are currently below that one by 17%. Now, if we go over here, because we have the other one that's up 49% over the synthetic strike price, uh, our synthetic, if we had to cash that out today, is still, um, still in the positive by almost $6.5 million dollars if obviously cashing out both of the synthetic positions. But we're going to move on to Nefli. Nefli closed at 18.75, Netflix closed at 620.74. And we have one short call expiring Friday with a strike price of 6.30 and we are currently under that by 1%. $9 and 26 cents it looked like. And then we have NVIDIA, which closed at $28.65. NVIDIA closed at $893.98. You can see we have three short calls that all expire on Friday with strike prices $960, $975, and $1,020. And we are below those by 7 8 and 12%. We are also below the synthetic by 2%. 
Um, so currently it looks like it's going to cost roughly, um, yeah, four and a half million if we wanted to close out the synthetics, but we have two months for those. So we will move on to OARC, which closed at 1278. ARC closed at 4851. We have two short calls that expire on Friday with strike prices of 50 and $50.50. 50. We are currently under those by 3 and 4%. Uh, and then we have synthetic expiring in two months in which we're under it by 3%. If we move on to PayPay, we closed at 1846. PayPal closed at 6301. We have one short call expiring Friday, and our synthetics, they're all the same price. We're, well, we're at $65, so of course we're um, below the short, we're below all of them by 3%, which is good for the short call and not so much for the synthetics there. So we will move on down. Well, I should have mentioned those don't expire for two months for the synthetic positions. But moving on to SQUI or SQY, they closed at 2370. Block closed at 7932. Short call expires Friday with a strike price of $84. And we're currently 6% below that. Uh, the synthetic strike price is $80. And we're currently... 1% below that. If we go on to Tesla, Tesla closed at 15.54. Tesla closed at 171.32. If we look at, we have two, uh, we have two short calls expiring Friday with straight prices of 170 and 172.50. We are currently between those two with that 171.32. So we see Nate once below 1%, one's above 1%. If we look at these synthetic positions, uh, similar situation there, except we've got 170 and 175 strike prices, so we're in between those two. Give you a chance if you want to look at those market values individually. And then we're going to move on to Zomo. Zomo closed at 1816. Exxon Mobil closed at 113.09. We have two short calls that expire on Friday. We'll strike price of 113, which we're nine cents over, and 115, and we're two cents below that one. Two percent below that. Um, yep, and we're good on our synthetics. So we'll move on to YMAG. So YMAG closed at. Um, Oh, my other plus. Oh, that's right, because I had it on the other tab. So YMAG closed at $20.24. And just coming over in case y'all want to see this data. And then we'll move on down to YMAX, which closed at $21.11. Sort of hard to get these all together in one. And so, just so you see here, this cash and the money market account basically uh, cancel each other out. All right, so we made it through all of those, and I'm just going to cut this off short and sweet. I feel like there was something I was going to say, but it's all good. I'm sure the video is already long enough. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully you've also enjoyed uh, the other roundup um, for today that was done earlier. Um, if you like them, like both videos, please uh, please like both of them. If you want to leave some comments or feedback, uh, I would greatly appreciate that as well. And y'all have a good night.